uh, as often happens when you ask a question, what did we do wrong in Uganda in responding to AIDS? The answer you get depends on the person you are asking. Uh, tomorrow I'll be uh, talking to people about my own personal re reflections as a woman who was widowed by AIDS, but also as a woman who took up the challenge to lead my fellow Ugandans to record the relative success that we had in the early 1990s. And uh, also reflecting, because I'm still alive and I'm still engaged in the response in Uganda, reflecting well that why as Uganda, which was seen in the beginning as the leader in Africa in responding to HIV and AIDS, why are we seeing a rise in new infections? Why are we seeing a tendency for our leadership to go towards punishing, mandatory testing, uh, drafting laws and bills which are uh, really very punitive and which we know globally don't work. So I will be looking at those opportunities that we have missed. I will be looking at where we, will be, we have gone wrong. And the first area is that we became complacent. As a nation, we realized that we had done a good job, we, and everybody was talking about Uganda. So everybody at all levels said, ah, oh, we've done it. And yet the virus does not go to sleep. So we went to sleep. The other part of our complacency was related to the fact that once ARVs became a reality in Uganda and other African countries, you get young people saying, oh, after all, if I catch HIV, uh, I can take a tablet. And I think that that, that uh, statement is said worldwide, by, especially by young people. The other area is that we lost our, we, we took our eye on the human rights aspects of HIV and AIDS. We, we, we took our eye on fighting stigma. We also began, and which is now very, very uh, sad in Uganda, a process of looking for blame, looking for who is responsible for spreading HIV. And they, 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 mostly in the eyes of people, says those who, are, those who know their status are responsible for spreading HIV. And yet, what we know, uh, that has been made very clear by organizations like TASO, which I started, that once people test, once people are offered counseling, once people are offered opportunity to live beyond the HIV test, they play a very important role in stopping the spread of HIV. And the slogans that have been taken up by people living with HIV is that my virus stops with me. And uh, so a lot of these issues need to be discussed in Uganda. They need to be discussed globally because we need a global solidarity. We need a global movement to defeat AIDS.